good morning. This is another great day that we have. And the masterclass today is embrace your critics. Those people who criticize you are a jam. A story is told of the Prince of Wales who later became King Edward VIII. When he was a naval cadet in Dartmouth College of uh, training uh, naval cadets, and he was 14 years old, he was found by the cadet officers crying at one corner of the college. And he was approached by the seniors in the college and asked why was he crying. And after a lot of pushing and pulling, because he did want to divulge the, the reason why he was crying, he let alone confessed that the other cadets, the other trainees were actually molesting him. They were pushing him around. They were kicking him around. And the college administration called for a meeting with the rest of the trainees and requested them, said, the, king, the, the Prince of Wales is not complaining, but would wish to know why are you pushing him around? Why are you kicking him around? And after a lot of pushing again of these trainings, trainees, they confessed that they wanted to say when they become army commandants and naval officers that they kicked the king because they knew the Prince of Wales will let alone beca become the king. Now that brings me to one of the reasons why people kick you around. When you find yourself being kicked kicked around in a community, in an office, in a business that you are doing, the other, your, your neighbors are talking ill of yourself, is because there's something unique that you are accomplishing. Somebody say that, remember, nobody kicks a dead dog. It means there's something, you are raising some concerns in them, you are showing them things that can be done in a better way, you are challenging them, and that's why they are kicking you. And they are getting some savage satisfaction from finding that they are kicking you around. So never be, uh, never, never be afraid of those people who kick you around. Number two reasons why people may be kicking you around is because you have shown some excellence. You are doing things in a different, better, and more faster way. And they do not understand it. They are still in the past. They are still doing things in the older ways. So you'll find yourself being kicked around and therefore embrace your critics. The other way you can be able to embrace your critics is you go back to them and ask them, what is it that I'm doing wrong that is making you feel that you are right and I'm wrong? And this reminds me of a story given of a gentleman called E.H. Little who was a salesman selling soap from one shop to another in America. And at one point, he noted that his sales were not doing very well, and he was working for a company called Col Colgate Palmolive, one of the multinational companies that sells the very best of the very best, quality soaps and even um, toothpaste. So he decided, now that I'm not making enough sales, I'll be going back to my customers to ask them, what is it that I'm not doing right? And any time he got feedback on some criticism about his personality, he would improve on it. And as the story goes, at the very end of his uh, career, he became the president of Colgate Palmolive, E.H. Little. What say he said defined his career, and his success in his career was the fact that he would go back and ask for criticism. So when critics come your way, it is good to take some time and find out why are they criticizing you. So onward, embrace your critics. The other reason why that uh, people could be criticizing you is that you're doing a better job. Do it and then wait for the criticism. Winston Churchill, during the Second World War, he said that if he read every critic, every letter that came criticizing him. Then he would close shop and do no other thing, stop the war and start handling critics. 
and, but you can imagine the icon and the kind of success he got during the Second World Vo War by liberating Britain. Even if critics were criticizing him, he went on his, his, his work. So do the very best you can and await critics because they will always exist. If you do, you are damned. If you don't do, you are condemned. You do, you are condemned. You don't do, you are condemned. So embrace your critics. Joe Nyoto, wish you the very best. And you guys remember, you rock.